What's wrong with this picture representing an aeroplane in a 45 degree level turn? This explanation is widely used by reputable flight training sources, including this YouTube channel. But when you closely examine how the forces are represented in this diagram, they appear balanced. If the centripetal force opposes the centrifugal force, how does the aeroplane turn? In an actual level turn, the lift force has a horizontal component directed towards the centre of the turn, providing the centripetal acceleration necessary to make the turn. Centrifugal force is often used to describe the outward sensation we feel during a turn, rather than the real inwards accelerating force. In reality, centrifugal force is only an illusion caused by inertia. The tendency of our body to want to continue travelling in a straight path as the aeroplane executes a turn. Consider an object swinging in a circle like this. The centripetal force acting on the object is supplied by the tension in the string. From the object's perspective, it seems like there's an outward centrifugal force pulling on the string. However, when the string is cut, the object doesn't shoot outward as centrifugal force would suggest. Instead, it continues along a straight path that is perpendicular towards the axis. Remember, while centripetal force is a real force, centrifugal force is only an apparent one.